Guys, now that it's all finished filming and stuff, I'm wondering, uh, Josh, what you're going to miss most about working? Liam, Liam, what are you going to miss most about working, Josh? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to miss coming back to base camp and seeing Liam's door just to his trailer open and being able to just jump right in there yeah. and listen to some music, chill out, yeah, it's, eat it's, some trail mix. Yeah, it's <laughs> some trail mix. It's some protein bars. Yeah, exactly. No, I think just, just you know, just out. just hanging out yeah. together. You know, we, we were so fortunate to have become such good friends throughout it. And, you know, Jen, Josh and I, uh, uh, you know, it'll be sad not being able to come to work and, and spend spend that much time together. But we we'll still, still see each still, other. Yeah, we still spend a lot of time it's now. It's just not it's 13 hours a day, yeah. every day for months <laughs> at a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mocky Jealousy sort of takes the, the story mm -hmm. out of the arena mm -hmm. um, and kind of changes it both for, for both your characters, really. Um, what sort of scenes in particular were you most looking forward to, to filming across this, this movie? I mean, for me, I was, I was excited to film the stuff where Peter sort of loses his mind and, and has been tortured and, and, and captured by the Capitol and, and his sort of descent into madness. It was something I've never done before um, on screen. And uh, and so it's kind of cool for me to sort of get to try that out and push that limit. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I was just ex you know excited to have a, a kind of different uh, relationship to play with 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 Katniss. Uh, you know the dynamic between them has, has changed a lot. Um, you know they, they they kind of have conflicting ideas about how to go about this rebellion now, and um, you know it was just interesting exploring that side of things and also. Uh, there's a scene where, where Gail and um, Katniss and uh, the other people that are filming the propaganda videos, they return to District 12 and um, Gail talks about, you know, what happened the night of the bombing and, uh, you know, it's a, one of the few times you see kind of the vulnerability in, in Gail and how he's affected by it. Um, I wonder what's sort of the, the best fan experience both you guys have had? I think, you know, when... <sighs> You meet anyone who's that excited to meet you. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty flattering thing. You know, it's a uh, odd at first, but it's it's you know it's really nice that someone's that happy to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, I think it's cool that you just by like I mean people who stand in line at, at the premieres for hours and hours waiting to like just get a moment to say hi or to take one picture or to sign one thing, and the fact that <clears throat> that through these movies it's given us the ability to make someone that happy is like a really cool thing to make their day, their week, whatever it is, yeah, you know, that, that's really, uh, yeah, it's super rewarding. There's a scene in this film where Hamish talks about uh, Katniss inspiring people. Um, I wonder if you guys got a favorite Katniss moment from the, from throughout the movie so far? Mm, there's a great speech that she does uh, um, in District 8, I believe, when something happens and, uh, you know, the, it's... Is it's the burn with of, us? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those moments yeah. where it's Katniss speaking honestly and, and you know, it's when she, you know, the, those moments when she has such a big impact on everyone. It's really powerful. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, very it's powerful. moving, for sure. Yeah. Recently as well, we heard that um, The Hunger Games is going to be a stage show in London in 2016. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yes, we just heard that. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys, would you guys be in line to see that? Would you be in it? Presumably? It sounds, it sounds pretty amazing. So uh, I guess it's got... I don't know we, anything about it, really. Francis was telling me a little about it. I guess it's... Uh, it moves and the chairs move and up and down. I don't know too much about it, but it sounds, sounds really cool. Mm. I don't think I'll be in it, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'll check it out for sure.